On this week's episode of Keeping It Real, Cam Marston gives us insight into the strange, strange world of being married to a high school volleyball coach. With fall around the corner, it means that athletics are at full speed in my house. My wife is a high school volleyball coach. I have one daughter playing middle school volleyball and two sons playing football. Being married to a coach has been an eye-opener. When my wife was a collegiate coach, I didn't think it was possible to work harder for less money. But it's as a high school coach that things have gotten crazy. I had expected coaching at the high school level to be easier. It's definitely not easier. And it's strange. At the collegiate level, my wife coached athletes who were there to play volleyball. These women love to compete, love to win. Their lives centered around practicing and playing volleyball. High school athletes are very different. First, volleyball is one of many things a high school volleyball player does. There's also school clubs, family trips, social events with friends, visits to college campuses. There's also football games to attend on Friday nights. Volleyball is something that these players fit into their already busy schedules. It's one of their many priorities. Coaches must accept that they are not the number one most important thing on their players' agenda, that there are quite a few number one most important things. Next is the parents, and you've heard these stories. My favorite is this one. A father who asked for a secret meeting with my wife said that if my wife wanted his daughter to practice harder, and his daughter's work ethic was an issue, then my wife needed to make his daughter a starter. If she were a starter, he said, she'd probably practice harder. Did you catch that? Make her a starter and she'll practice harder versus practicing harder will make her a starter. Give her the prize outright and maybe later she'll work hard enough to deserve it. This, of course, did not happen and has become a go-to story around our house about the worldview of parents of high school athletes. What would her teammates have thought? What would her teammates have thought of my wife? Now, due to these stories, I've probably overcorrected when it comes to my approach as the father of children in athletics. Years ago, one of my son's baseball coaches asked if my son wore glasses. Sometimes, I said, when he struggles to see the board in the front of the classroom. Well, why doesn't he wear his glasses when he plays baseball, the coach asked. Well, he doesn't like the way he looks when he's wearing them with his batting helmet, I said. Do you think he'd be a better batter wearing glasses, the coach asked. Probably, I said, but hitting the ball is not more important than how he feels he looks when he's hitting. I heard a strangled cry from the back of the coach's throat, followed by a long stare of disbelief. Parents, he said, as he walked away, shaking his head. I'm Cam Marston, just trying to keep it real. To hear more commentaries, search for Keeping It Real with Cam Marston on your favorite podcast app or follow Cam Marston on social media.